rep on the other squares. Report back to the director. It's like I told you, someone went on a rampage, and now... I'll take it from here. I am Dio. As park director, it's my pleasure to welcome you to this, our gilded paradise. <laughs> we meet again, young man. If you'd like to go another round, I'm always game. Seriously? A director from head office was attending a Coliseum match earlier, when their security detail was gunned down. Both guests and staff were caught in the crossfire. That's terrible. The assailant took care to knock out the cameras. And so we have no image of their face. But according to eyewitness reports, it was a man with a gun grafted to one arm. And that's when it hit me. I knew this man. He was one of several fugitives we were warned to be on the lookout for. Nigh as tall and muscular as I, yet brash and brazen, with an ever-present scowl that smolders behind his sunglasses and... A gun for an arm. Tell me, does that sound like anyone you might know? Now wait a minute. Barrett might have a temper, but he'd never do this. Though I'd like nothing more than to believe you. This tells a very different tale. No, we... Listen, this couldn't have been Barrett. And what makes you say that? The cameras. It's not his style to avoid the limelight. If he really did kill all these people, he would have had a damn good reason. One that he'd want the world to know about. He'd have made sure you had the footage. Trust me. Well, you do not want for loyalty, which is a quality close to my heart. But this is a serious matter. Mere character statements will not suffice. I'll tell you what. Find me the true perpetrator, and I will declare your friend innocent. You have 24 hours, after which you will all be deemed complicit, clapped in chains, and delivered to Shinra. <laughs> Insurance. In the event you decide to make a break for it. We won't need to. Good. Now go before the Turks beat you to the punch. Wait, the Turks are here? <laughs> Competition's good for the soul. <laughs> Our culprit awaits below, my scrappy friends. In the name of justice, go forth! If you care to follow me, I will be your faithful guide. And the elevator is that way. This way, folks. Quick as you like.
place we're headed is called the Dust Bowl, and it is nasty. Once upon a time, it was where the Gold Saucer employees used to live. But when hordes of fiends started appearing, the staff relocated up top where it was safe. The building's vacant. All sorts of lowlives, ruffians and ne'er-do-wells swooped in to stake their claim. Ah, the place it could have been tears me up inside. So, basically another wall market. Ha! A paradise compared to this cesspool. Set one foot inside and it's farewell freedom, so long dignity. I mean, why else do you think they started calling it Corel Prison? Except that prison's got no bars, no rules. Fucking maim. Marguerite, it's all on the table. In summary, prepare yourselves for one seriously cold reception. This is our stop. Nobody home? Oh, they're home, all right. Stay sharp. Just Cloud. Welcome. Cloud, right? Got a Merc for hire? Got it in one, boss man. <laughs> Which one of you is it? Is it you? You? Maybe you? Or is it the pooch? I'm just messing with you. That there is our man. I don't think we've met. Of course we haven't met. You got brain damage? I'm not the type of player folks tend to forget. Just look at it. Now, you may not know me, but I know you. And why do you think that is, think? Mr. Mercenary? Mm -hmm. I'll tell you why. Because it's my business to know. Yeah. And what kind of businessman would I be if I didn't have the scoop on the man who brought down Donny C? Yeah. Let Think me just say, it. bravo. Well done. We're looking for someone. Hey there, hi there, ho oh, there. No need to explain. Intel's my bread and butter. Really gotta tell you twice? Uptown secrets always trickle down. Which is why I'm ever so certain that you'll be useful. What do you want? So the son of a bitch with a gun for an arm? I got him under lock and key. Out in the middle of the village. Now I'm a generous guy, so I'd be happy to tell you where to find him. But only if I can get something from you first, understand? A little something being a shitload of money. I want stacks of it, heaps of it, mountains of it. I mean, did you hear what he did? Your buddy shot Shinra troopers in broad freaking daylight. So I ain't about to give him up for free. You think my prison runs on good deeds? No, sir. It runs on guilt. So much so goddamn guilt. So yeah, Gil, that's what I want. 
And relax. I know you don't have it on you, but I got an idea on how you can scrape some together. <laughs> I'm entering you and one lucky chocobo in the races, and you are gonna win. <laughs> on that note, till you bring home the bacon, I'ma hold on to your pizzas. Help us out. Oh. Hey, chill out, kiddo. We'll take excellent care of them. Unless you fail to deliver, in which case, well, let's just say there are plenty of other ways to raise the funds I require. Hmm. Can put a price on anything. Frick. Ah, uh ah. -uh. That's guts to you. Ooh. Got that, jockey boy? As for all those pesky race details, talk to Garth here. I got you, boss man. Don't let me down, huh? Mr. Merc, let's go meet your bird. <laughs> Better stick close, you hear? <laughs> no need to worry about us. We can handle ourselves. Good luck. We're rooting for you. Gus has a thing for vultures. That's right. You just follow me. Or run for it. See how far you get. your new champ. Hmm. He's all yours. So, you're Cloud the Merc. <laughs> Can't say I was expecting someone so pretty. Pretty shrinky. I'm Esther, Chocobo Wrangler. Pleasure. Wait, Cloud? Aren't you that kid from the ranch? Well, hang on. You two know each other? What happened? We were making our way to the saucer for Pico's racing debut. When these ones nabbed us. Hold up. How about you tell them the real story? How you were dying out there in the dunes? How we saved your scrawny ass? <sighs> Ungrateful little piece of shit. So, you want me to race Pico? In a fire. <laughs> the one and only. In that state? Our trek through the desert did a real number on him. Can barely lift a claw. If he doesn't eat and regain his strength, I don't fancy his chances. Good thing his jockey's on the job. Pico needs food, and you're gonna find it. Fine. I'm coming too. Okay then. Grab that bird some grub and bring it to me. I'll be waiting. Don't you dare go disappointing my man, Gus. How come we all get to eat branches? It ain't fair. No one will notice if I sneak a peek, right? What you do? All hail, son of Gus! King of Corral Prison! Show respect or get wrecked! There's something. Well, hello. Good to see you again. How about a photo to commemorate our reunion? Folks down here in the Dust Bowl make for excellent subjects, let me tell you. Everyone here is so raw and authentic. You're truly spoiled for choice. Let me know if you stumble upon any promising spots around here.
thinking of making a run for it, are you? So I decided to disguise myself. How did I do? All things like these are known to elicit a calming effect. So I should be safe. Unfortunately, we can't say the same for Bear. I'm confident of his innocence, though, and I will do everything in my power to help prove it. Many hazards await you on the road, so take care. Any books that can no good? I see pieces of mine have been eaten for a fight. Oh, I'll get it. Excellent timing. I'm conducting a seminar and would appreciate your help. And, as thanks for your assistance, rest assured you will be handsomely rewarded. All you need to do is speak with my lovely pupils here. Four of these folks are lying, while one and only one is telling the truth. Your job is to find the odd one out. Ah, there's also a small fee to participate, but I'm sure you won't mind. Place called Bail Jumper. Yeah, the finest booze around, pure as the driven snow. Not watered down one bit. Hey, you ever heard of a place called Bail Jumper? Yeah, the finest booze around, pure as the driven snow. <laughs> I watered down I'm one bit. Drinking. Hey, you ever heard of a place called Bail Jumper? The weapon store owner's got a few screws loose, if you ask me. I mean, what's he doing selling potions of all things? Have you read Gus's autobiography, Meditations on the Outlaw Life, yet? You can pick it up at the local bookstore. I definitely recommend it. You should test your might in the Beast Battleground. They've got a rare monster named Bug Zero. You checked out the graffiti at Gus's place? He's got a Del Sol Cactuar in there. See if you can find it. Well, do you think you can figure out who's telling the truth? The truth is out there, as they say. I encourage you to walk around town and find it. Well, do you think... Have you read Gus's autobiography, Meditations... Congratulations! Their deception was no match for your powers of perception. Beware, my aspiring swindlers. Clever ones like this are harder to fool. But, so long as you continue to train and apply yourselves, I can teach you to swindle even the toughest marks. Yes, yes sir. sir! As for you, rest assured that I am a man of my word. Those greens are hard to find in a place like this. Quite the handsome reward, wouldn't you say? I suppose the produce here ain't all bad. I mean, compared to the stuff folks are growing out in the grasslands, it's down to dying. But hey, I ain't picking this place. I swear, it was 
was nothing. May have busted the rim, but I made it back in one piece. and there could be some fresh new greens in it for ya. Just like that, okay? Never in doubt. Let's go. Ah! 
Prison have been telling me they give their birds sand baths to get them clean. Wonder if it's any better for if you to stay in brush down. Maybe we'll give it a try with Pico. <laughs> My dear pupils, are you familiar with the phrase, the best lies are told in truths? The trick to deceiving someone is to pack your fiction. Bail jumper, watering hole for the drags of the dust bowl. Heard you're in the market for some greens. Maybe. If so, I've got a garden up on the cliff. Everything's yours for the taking. Assuming there's anything to take, I've intended to it in ages. Here, go see for yourself. Be sure to keep an eye out for fiends, though. The place is crawling with them. seem like a guy who can hold his liquor. 
That's our house specialty. Call it sunshine. We take moonshine and water it down so the flavor's just still perceptible.
Habitat is filled, he'll be ready to hit the track and win us that race. Did you? It's a start, but nowhere near enough. Yeah, he's looking a lot better now. But we could get him in great shape with a touch more. <laughs> Old Pico's right as rain and fit to hit the track whenever you are. When you're ready to head up to the stadium, just speak to your babysitter over there. <laughs> Before you go, if you happen to have any more greens, consider trading them in for racing gear. Vegetables are hard to come by down here, so I'd be happy to buy yours. How come we all get to eat veggies? It ain't fair. No one will notice if I sneak a few, right? <laughs> 